Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and this fall along, we're going to be utilizing Azure Front Door. So before we do that, we're gonna need ourselves a storage account to set up some static website uh, storage. So what I want you to do is go to storage accounts. And there is a static web app host uh, hosting that we could use, but we're gonna do it the old school way because it's always great to learn a few different ways to do things in Azure. And so uh, there's probably another follow along where we, we use uh, the static, static site thing there. Um, so what we're going to do is create a new, uh, we're going to create a new um, uh, resource group. I'm going to call this one uh, My uh, Azure Front Door, and we'll say OK. And from here, we'll have to name it something. So we'll just say My Azure Front Door, or sorry, we'll do uh, Static Storage, Storage 8888. If you can't get the 48s because I'm using it, then just give it a different um number sequence because these are treated like fully qualified domains. Choose like a, a US region so that we're all doing the same thing. For performance, we're gonna stick with standard. It doesn't matter if it's on geo redundant, we're not doing anything fancy there. So what I want you to do is go ahead and hit review and create, and then give it a moment and hit create. And we're gonna wait for that to uh, finish deployment. And from there, we'll then have to enable st uh, static websites. So it doesn't take too long to deploy. So we'll just give it a moment. And while that's going, uh, we do need to create ourselves a um, index HTML file. So you're gonna need some kind of editor. So I'm just opening up Visual Studio Code on my computer. Just give it a moment there. And I'm just creating a new file here. This is taking, it, taking a moment to load. Okay, so, and what we need to do is just create uh, an index HTML file. These are really basic. You can find them anywhere online, but this one's gonna say, hello Mars, hello Mars. Very, very simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this to my desktop. So save as, and um, show local maybe. There we go. That's a little bit more sane. And we'll just say index.html. And we will now go to the resource. And we're gonna to go to website static is a blade on the left-hand side. So we can do a stack website stuff. We're gonna say index HTML. I think we have to set that for it to work. I cannot remember if that's the case. We have a primary endpoint. This is, uh, these matter for later, but we'll come back to that. And we're gonna go over to our containers and we're gonna to have to create a new container. So I'm just gonna call that, actually we don't because we're gonna put it in web. So when we turned on static website hosting, it already gave us a blob or container, a container for us to uh, add our, at our, or upload our files there. So we'll go to upload here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select that index.html file and upload it in place. Um, we need to change our access level for this, uh, this uh, container to, um, I think, just blob. So I'm just double checking here. Yeah, I think it's blob access. Uh, it can only be anonymous request container data is not available. So we'll say, okay, I believe that is correct. Okay, uh, it, sometimes you can, like we're clicked into it, but I think like in the, my instructions, I do it a little bit different. So I'm just gonna double check to see what the settings are there, just so you can see it if you're following my instructions. So change access, private blob. Yeah, okay, so that's fine. Um, so blob access should be okay. And so now what we wanna do is just test that our, our page is working. So if we go back to static website here, on the left-hand side, we can grab this primary endpoint and we should be able to post it anywhere here. So you have the old tutorial here. This is a moment ago, so that's why it's a bit confusing. But um, so Hello Mars is working, but this is on static storage. This isn't in front of or behind Azure front door, uh, which is what we'll want to do next. So what I want you to do is just close a couple of these tabs out. We're gonna type in Azure front door, or front door should be enough front. There we go. And we have a whole bunch of options. We'll just hit create. That's a front door we actually do use for the uh, platform. We have Azure front door, we have quick create. I always go custom. I don't think I've ever done quick create. I just, I just have more trust in custom. And from here, we will choose front door. And East US is fine. I'm just wondering where our storage account is. That's why we should always just kind of set them to be the same place. So we'll just go to storage account. I don't think it will matter, but I'm just gonna double check. Storage account. <laughs> And this one is in East US, so we're gonna be okay. Just make sure they match, just so we have less problems. And I'm gonna call this one my Azure front door. 
Now there are more functionalities in the premium, but standard is fine for us. We'll go next to secrets. Um, this is if we want to add a, a certificate, um, like you could bring your own certificate, um, but uh, we're not too worried about that. We're gonna have to add a new endpoint. So we're gonna just say my endpoint here. There's a lot of small steps in here, so this should be fun. Hopefully we don't configure anything wrong here. And then we need to add a route. We'll say my route. And it's gonna use the default domain, that's totally fine. Uh, we don't have to do anything, it's gonna just be on the forward slash asterisk there. We do need to create an origin group, so we'll go here and create a new origin group, so my origin group. And then from there, we need to add an origin. Yes, it is very squirrely going through all this. My origin, the origin type is gonna be Azure, or sorry, storage uh, static website. And from here, we need to choose the uh, right one. We call it static storage. Uh, this is fine, this is all fine. We'll go ahead and hit add. And down below, we have some load balancing. We don't care about any of that. Uh, so you can see the status is enabled. All this should be okay. The protocol here for the health probe should be HTTP. Um, actually, let me double check because remember this is where I ran into some trouble. I believe, yeah, HTTP, I think it's HTTPS, okay. I think I read somewhere that it's like um, stack storage doesn't use HTTP, but clearly it does because when we went to the link earlier, it was HTTPS. So I might have the screenshots wrong, but I've corrected them in the actual instructions on my site. We'll go ahead and save that. I think it's HTTPS. And then the, the, the protocol here, um, we'll just leave it matching. It's totally fine. Origin path is fine. We'll go ahead and add that there. And we'll go review create. We'll give it a moment and we'll create. All right, so after waiting um, about a few minutes, like two, three minutes, it looks like uh, Azure Front Door set up. So we'll go to the resource. And I'm just hoping this works. Sometimes you have to play around with the settings, but if you see the endpoint host name, we'll go ahead and grab that there, paste it on in. Um, we get a 404. So something's not working just right. So we'll have to go do some debugging, which I was hoping we didn't have to do. So we go to the front door manager. This is the same setup we have here before. There are like different ways to get to it, um, but we'll have to just kind of go through and debug it. So we do have my route, my origin group. So we can click into our origin group. And then from here, we'll expand it. And we have our route. So there's something that is not correct. And that's what we have to figure out. So I'm just going to double check my instructions because this was a bit tricky to figure out. Um, and it really came down to like these protocols here. So let me keep checking. And I mean, I think the probe is working correctly. So if we go in the origin, if this wasn't working correctly, then it wouldn't, it wouldn't show green. So go back up a step here. You know what, maybe we should just wait a little bit because sometimes it takes time to propagate. And I don't 100% I don't trust that it's not working because I feel like we configured it exactly right. So I'll open up a new tab here. It says 404 still. My origin group. That, that's fine. We'll go here. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is go back to our storage account. I just wanna double check uh, what that uh, string was for the static website. I'm pretty sure it was HTTPS. It is, HTTPS. So there's no reason that should not work. This is what I was trying to uh, spare you, the, uh, the debugging of this. And it's very common, it's not just Azure, anything that has a CDN, sometimes it's it's difficult to uh, figure that stuff out. But we'll go ahead and edit that route and we'll just carefully look at what we have here. So patterns and match, that is fine. It's the correct endpoint. Both protocols are accepted, that's totally fine. Redirect HTTPS, that's totally fine. Match, that doesn't matter. So it should just work. The only thing we didn't do was enable caching, which I think wouldn't hurt to do. Um, because it is a CDN, we don't take advantage of it if we don't turn it on. So 
we'll do that and say ignore that query string. I mean, that's not going to fix this problem if the routing's messed up. Again, I'm just hoping that maybe it just has to do with propagation. We'll go back to the overview here. And we will open this again. Whoops. Grab this. Let's just make sure it's doing HPS. We're working to res uh, restore all services as possible right now. What do you mean our services aren't available right now? Let's go look at Azure status uh, page here. And we'll take a look at front door. Azure front door, it's saying that it's fine. US East, there's no green beside it. Good. So we go down here. I guess it's a it's a non-regional service. So if it's green, it's green. So you know what? I'm gonna play around with this for a little. Oh, 404. Web. So this is better, right? It's just saying it can't find the content. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense because that was there. So we'll just clear that out. Oh, now it's loading. So I think it what the issue uh, is there was no issue. It's just propagating to all the servers and it took some time. So. Uh, I think that's what really threw me for a loop um, when I was originally doing it. So just give it some patience and it will work eventually. So we are all done here. So we can go ahead and clean this up. And I'm just looking for the resource group here. We'll go ahead and delete it. And there you go. That's Azure front door. And I'll see you in the next one, okay?